This is Stoban SDLP TV. This is an exclusive interview with your MLA, Joe Byrne. Mr. Byrne, can you explain to your constituents exactly what occurred in today's assembly and why it is important for the people of Stoban to know about it? Well, first of all, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I presented a petition on a jobs campaign for Stoban in the Chamber of the Assembly. This is a crucial issue for the people. And, as I said this morning, I presented to the Assembly a petition of request on behalf of the people of Strabang to campaign for a jobs initiative for a town and district that has consistently felt neglected and forgotten by government since partition. Unfortunately, Strabang has a national and international image and reputation of being the unemployment black spot of Europe. This petition represents and reflects the community anger and frustration about Straban's social and economic neglect being once again bypassed by government, most recently epitomised by the Dard Minister's decision to relocate the 800 headquarters civil service jobs out of Belfast to Ballykelly, even though Straban ranked number one on the assessment criteria. The people of Straban have felt that this assembly and this executive don't care about the unemployment situation in Straban, and in particular the grossly high levels of youth unemployment and lack of opportunity. My office in Straban was inundated with phone calls and people visiting it to complain about this decision, whereby despite Straban coming highest on the socio-economic assessment criteria for the jobs relocation, it did not merit a favourable decision on this jobs issue. Unfortunately, the people of Straban feel let down because they had expectations that this devolved assembly and executive would not continue with the same pattern of government indifference and neglect suffered for decades. As a local MLA for West Tyrone, I am duty bound to bring to this House this petition of over 2,000 signatures in order to highlight the genuine sense of grievance and hurt that now exists throughout Straban District and indeed West Tyrone about government neglect to the plight of my constituents. It is with regret that I, as MLA and the local campaign group, have to plead for a special case once again on the need for jobs in Straban. The community's sense of disgust and annoyance about government in Belfast, once again ignoring and indeed bypassing the merited case for Straban, is palpable. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the stage in Straban where the people are grossly annoyed. They feel very angry that after all the years of devolution, 15 years, that Straban has still got no public investment. And I, as the local MLA, along with the SDLP campaign team, are going to continue to fight and highlight the case for Stabat. We'll make no apologies for it. We're here to fight.